first of all, thank you for having us here. Uh, we have to say that this is a great opportunity for us to, to learn, to, uh, to, to hear what do you think about the, uh, the subject that we are also uh, from recently very interested in. Uh, we definitely have uh, a, lot of, a lot to think after uh, this uh, conference uh, because we need, it turned out that we need the work concept in our uh, projects about which we will uh, mm, say a few words. Sure, so before we actually explain how we would like to see work in our idea, we need to tell you what is about a POPC, that is actually operational project, Polska Cyfrowa. So the first one that we actually started participating, the idea started in 2017, when there was a strong demand from the environment, uh, education environment, environment and uh, um, academic. So people started asking about MA Tadana for, for shop and heritage. So in the end, we decided that we do a lot of digitalization. As you can see, the, the first editions of Chopin, his manuscripts. Uh, we will digitalize magazines, books, monographs of Chopin, photographic collection that we have, and it's something about one, more than 1,000 uh, one, 100,000 photographs and also recordings. Uh, what is it about these uh, things? They are collected in the Museum of Frédéric Chopin in Warsaw and our library that we, library that we represent. And uh, what we actually will do, as you can see there are some numbers in the bottom, uh, we will digitalize 39,500, but on the platform in 2020, it will be shown 38,500 objects. Uh, we are working at the moment with 20 contractors. They are doing the, the digital editions. Uh, they are producing metadata. Uh, metadata. They are writing substantive essays about Chopin, and they are also doing digitalization of the recordings. Recordings from the uh, from the uh, the International Frederick Chopin Piano Competition and the Chopin and His Europe Festival. Uh, this is about a magazine. Uh, there are two complete collection that we have. Uh, it's about Gazette Musicale de Paris and Revue Musicale. And we have the funds from European Union, as you can see, it's to, uh, pretty lot. Second project, uh, it's all uh, about the sources. Um, sources from 16th to 19th century, uh, Polish sources, of course, uh, that creates some context for, for Chopin's work. Mm. Soon we will start digitization process in six main, uh, very important for Polish culture uh, libraries. Uh, some of them were uh, very difficult to uh, to cooperate with, uh, but we managed, fortunately. So, uh, so um, collections of uh, um, of Krakow Cathedral archive uh, and uh, collection of uh, Warsaw uh, Music Society will be digitized soon. No one in Poland uh, believed that we can manage, but we did. Um, <laughs> what's more, uh, we'll um, create or um, uh, or re revise the records in reason for those six libra libraries and archives and also for, uh, for two more um, libraries that are uh, already digitized in the first project or um, on another uh, Friedrich Chopin Institute project. Um, and what's the most in interesting and important for me, we will um, create um, a s Edition, uh, digital editions in Hamdrop format of uh, at least 6,000 uh, pieces uh, selected from a lot of libraries. Some of them are uh, already, some of the sources are already published uh, as um, open source, so, so we, can, we can use them to uh, create the um, set of the most important pieces of Polish music. Mm, by the end of the of the 2021, we will have uh, uh, more than 12,000 objects digitized, 6,000 uh, editions, uh, 
also that about our um, our team and 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 financing. Yes. <laughs> mm, why we needed uh, work? As you see, we cope with a um, wide spectrum of of, uh, of objects of and of data. We we have musical scores. They uh, they are digitized versions. Uh, we have uh, digital scores. Mm, literature. Uh, I, I mean books and and. Um, books and uh, magazines, uh, also photographs, recordings. Uh, they are, uh, as you see, very, very uh, different. Also, the metadata standards are, are differ a lot. Uh, so we needed something uh, to uh, concatenate that, uh, these groups. Uh, we'll go through those groups uh, shortly. First editions of Chopin's works uh, and uh, musical sources in, in another project are basically pretty easy to deal with. All of them have or will have their uh, RISM records. Um, so, so uh, Mark 21 format will um, will work. What's more, uh, critical editions are always always linked to one source. So, humdrum uh, encoding will. Inherit most of the most of the metadata from RISM record. As you see at the top of the humdrum uh, encoding, this is this black uh, black square uh, at the right. Uh, the, the only information, well, the main information we need in this score is the RISM ID. Uh, uh, we uh, extract metadata from um, RISM uh, record of uh, this particular source. Mm. Then Hamdram uh, is um, converted to digital score and it also inherits the same set of metadata uh, developed um, just a little bit. Okay, so this is about my thing. We also catalog literature and this is <coughs> magazine. This is the example of the Gazette Musical from 1831. And what we'd like to show you here, it will be also in Mark 21, that when you read this, you always look for some sources. So in that example, we have a Chopin a piece of music. It's Concerto Opus 11, as he writes, and Enemy Minor, the Chopin. So what we would like to do, we want to um, collect it with the uh, work idea so that when you in this platform in the end when you're looking for opus 11 opus 21 opus whatever you want you just write it down and you have all information when in all the collection of the gazette musical so this is the idea of the literature magazine books as well uh, the other thing is the photographic collection that we catalog uh, in Collection Index Plus. That is a software system for collection and content manager, management that we do in standard that is called Spectrum. It's a UK standard that is, that is supported, that, is, uh, that supports actually collected Collection Index Plus from SSL. And uh, here we have an example of the letter from uh, from Julian Fontana to sister of Chopin, Ludwika Andreevichova. And he, is, he writes about Chopin music because he wants to edit that after Chopin uh, death. And as you can see, maybe not all, I think it is pretty visible. Uh, there are examples, Opus 40, Opus 43, Opus 74, the whole collection of the songs. So we would like to link this information that is actually just in the letter that is written down in the platform. So somebody is interested to look for the song. So he writes down the platform. So he can see, he can listen to the recordings. He can find the photograph of this letter. He can see uh, the transcription and as well this. But we have this problem because in the standard, uh, in Collection Index Plus, this information in the standard is not actually linked to anything. There's no information, no idea for this Chopin music, even though there's plenty of catalogs for Chopin pieces. So we need to collect all these different sources. Uh, that's why we need work. <laughs> so this is the second part of our, about our 
idea of work, what we think it should look, how it looks at the moment at DREAM, because we actually study that. There's information about the author, title, catalog, or maybe opus number if does exist. Musical incipit, there is a key scoring genre or form. But what we would like to see and what we believe that work should like is that we actually think that we should be uh, maximum reduction as it actually possible to do. We believe that uh, it should be as little information as it possible and uh, the, the source should be, the work should be imitable. So we would show, like to show we, which information we would like to uh, get rid of. The first thing is the key. And why I would like to get rid of the key, because when you have to deal with, uh, uh, I mean, if you want to be able to catalog sources from different periods, uh, from different transcriptions, or just a copy, we have to be uh, we have to be aware of the fact that uh, there are plenty of transposition situations, transcription. So even though melody is not changing, the key might change. So we don't need that information. The other thing is the title. I know it's pretty controversial here, but we have an example from Reason. So wait a sec. Why we want to get rid of this, the title? Because uh, this is another part of the study. If you want to decide which title is the correct one, we need to know which was the, the first or the primer, which the composer wanted to wanted us to, to be known for this piece. So we have this example from the, the Reason work record number 41. It's from Hummel, Dritte Messe. So as you can see, there are uh, how many there were of them? There were 15 sources that were linked to this work record. As we were studying, we actually saw there are more than three different variations of this title. And there are actually here written down. So we have a Dritte Messe. We have uh, messa number three, messa in D, messa four, messa misa. Okay, so what should I decide? Which one is the proper one? We actually think that if it's possible in that, uh, in that actually case, we don't want to put the title in the world or just we want to be listed in this, in this area where it should be written, so in the source, because every time in the autograph sketches, it might be sound, sound different and somebody from the other country might write it down differently. And the last thing we want to get rid of is the scoring. Uh, that's pretty easy to show you because uh, we always have to deal with some transcriptions, different versions of the piece, a copy as well. And we have this example from uh, Anonymous, and it's called Veni Creator Spiritus. So as you can see, the one that is up is for four voices, and the one below is for three voices. So. <laughs> If we, which one should we decide which one was the first one, actually? We have the dates here, so it's easy, right? But it's not always so easy. And should we write it for three fa, V or four V? That's why we think it should be, it shouldn't be here. What led them? Uh, author, that's of course pretty obvious, but we uh, think as uh, uh, here about only the IDs from uh, from via from from GND, WordCut, whatever you want. The essence is linked to uh, the authority file. Um, another thing is the musical uh, incipit, and here. Apart from plain and easy code uh, notated incipit in Reason, we developed a, a pretty simple but I think objective system of notating uh, this kind of uh, incipit with uh, semitones. Uh, it is uh, it don't preserve the information about the key of the of the composition, only about the melody. As you see, uh, the Polonaise uh, opus uh, 40 number one uh, could be notated as a string of uh, of uh, uh, letters and digits that represent uh, only the interval uh, structure. So first we have uh, step down fourth, then uh, the same pitch, same pitch, uh, up second, and stuff. Notice that you can easily sort this kind of uh, incipit, compare them uh, without any problem, or even treat as, uh, mm, as controlled uh, vocabulary. Uh, to make stuff easier for us, we developed a short uh, script that uh, allows us to um, extract this incipit from Handram encodings or uh, from plain and easy code in Reason through uh, Handram. Um, 
catalog and opus number are pretty obvious things to preserve in work, of course, uh, if there's a catalog. Uh, I know that with opus can be, can, uh, there, there's a lot of trouble. We have also the, the same kind of trouble with Chopin works when uh, one mazurka, uh, the same mazurka sometimes was published as uh, mazurka number five in opus six and sometimes as mazurka number five in opus seven. Uh, it would be, uh, Pretty hard case to, to decide what to do, but uh, but I think uh, opus number is is pretty essential. Uh, and last one, uh, genre or form, uh, which um, all of of these categories should um, should describe work in a full uh, identifiable uh, way uh, and. Um, should contain only those information that would be inherited but by all the expressions, uh, manifestations, and items. Uh, thanks to work that we see here, we think we could link them by, by its uh, unique ID uh, with all the, all the manifestation of, of, of work. Thank you very much.